What's up guys, it's Joe from Lombardi Engineering. We're in a new location today, and I'm just going to walk you through the process that I go through when cutting out some of my RC planes out of uh, foam board. So, I'll show you my setup right now. Alright, so, here is my laser cutter. It's either a 60 or an 80 watt. I forgot actually which one I bought off eBay, it's been a while now. But, it's one of the, the Chinese ones, I got it drop shipped here to my house and it was in this huge crate. It was a ton of fun ripping it apart and then sliding it into the uh, corner here. I've since done a couple of modifications, mainly being the, uh, the ventilator here. Instead of having the super loud and just like annoying centrifugal blower, what I did was I changed it out to an eight inch inline blower. It's a lot quieter um, and it takes up a lot less room actually. Super easy modification, you just take some, some ducting that you'd normally use for like a chimney or something, bring it together, the, the fan just bolts to the side. And So operating the machine is actually very easy. All you have to do is turn it on, make sure that you have water flowing, that's distilled water, as well as your, um, your compressor. They, they supply a little tiny one, this feeds air into the nozzle of the, uh, the laser head so that it clears away material, blows fumes away. And then to run it, all you do is take a USB that's supplied with it and plug it into your computer. And in my case, I'm running RDWorks 8, I think. Yes, RDWorks V8. Uh, and it's actually a, a pretty easy program to use once you get through the fact that it's like made for some other language to be using. plug that in now and boot up already works. Today I'm going to be lasering out the flight test Corsair. I downloaded these plans and then ripped them into DXF form and then moved them all around in already works so that I have sort of like the most optimized layout I can. It's still going to take four pieces of 20 by 30 foam board but it should be good. What I do before running the laser for real is I take my material, load it in, move my head to the, uh, the correct starting position that I want, and then just do a dry run and see whether I'm going to hit any problems with it. Usually I'll, I'll send it to start, stop it, and then do a frame to, to make sure that I'm going to be in my correct location. So, got a bunch of foam board down here. Courtesy of Walmart. Shift that over this so. Machine goes up. You can jog this back. Flow the material in. And I just jog it ever so slightly so that it's actually on the piece. And then I'll show you what I'm doing now. So, I'm going to be hitting the start button. And then seeing just how it runs without the laser started. clips just a little bit, which is no good, so I'll have to adjust my my length over a little bit. So everything's set up. What I'm going to do is turn the safety off, turn the laser on, and then set up the GoPro so that it can watch what's happening. Let's get started.
All right, and it's done at the cycle time of three minutes and 20 seconds. I'm gonna turn off the laser, turn on the safety, and then take it out and show you what I've made. Alright, well, it looks like it's already falling apart, but you get the gist. It's actually cut through and made all of the shapes that I wanted to get done. Um, a side note, if you're ever using a laser cutter, what you're going to want to do is make a practice piece and dial in all of your settings so that when you go to do the real thing, you don't mess up as much. So I just took like a, a piece of regular foam board and I tried out different uh, speeds as well as power settings and I found out which worked best so I did like a perimeter of cut and then inside for etch yep. because you can see here how it made it through the top part of the foam board but not the bottom part and for a lot of the flight test planes you need that specific type of cut alright so now we'll go through and do the rest of them alright so just wrapping up here Got the Corsair, and I also printed out Spitfire on the laser cutter. Got all the pieces over here. Four sheets to the, uh, the Corsair, and three for the Spitfire. Although I could probably optimize that to like two and a half instead. Some of the pieces fell out off the, the sheet while it was going. That's perfectly fine. Uh, next step will be, of course, putting them together. I think the Corsair is going to be... Uh, the most difficult, but possibly also the cooler one. I made the Spitfire a lot of times before, and I think this time I'll do a really good job of it. Alright, see you soon.